Hi guys, Misty and Sherry with Queen Bees Vintage. Hi everybody. So thank you guys so much for joining us today. We are actually on the road. We are down in sunny Southern California in my sister's backyard. Look at her gorgeous orange tree that's behind me. So what we're gonna do in this video is we have a little bit of footage of our travels to get down here. They were a bit treacherous, but we made it and we're having a great time. We visited Disneyland and we came to my sister's after that to celebrate my nephew's seventh birthday. And while we've been here, we have gone to a few of our favorite shops that we like to hit um, while we're here, as well as um, we did some thrifting also. So what we're gonna do is show you our purchases later in this video and we hope you enjoy it. On our way to sunny LA, and look what we've ran into. We just had a uh, off duty officer spin out in front of us and slide off the road. Earlier, we seen a man hit a deer, total his car. Total his car. So, we're taking it really easy here. Hopefully, we'll be seeing some sunshine and dry roads here pretty soon. The sun's gonna peek out. But for such a dangerous journey, this is so beautiful. Check out this beautiful sky and this beautiful view of the Sierras. It's gorgeous. It's been a winter wonderland and I'm just thankful we're on dry road now. it is going to take us an hour and a half to get there so for those of you that don't live or travel in a big city this is what it's like not fun all right you guys we finally made it to our room at the park view inn it is our first time staying at this hotel which is amazing because we've stayed at most of them around here as you know we guys we guys can't talk. We come here a lot and my kids think this is the best place we've ever stayed because it has fun beds and my kids are 13 and 16 so you would think they were like four and five. They're arguing over who's going to get the top on. It's pretty comical. So cute, very clean and we think that It was meant to be for us to stay here. Look how cute for the queen bees. So we're gonna head over to the park and we will probably share more with you later. What is that concoction called? I do want infinity food. That looks pretty awesome. Yes.
are headed to Cedros Avenue Design District to visit a few of our favorite shops. We hope we can share some of them with you. Hi guys, Mom and I just got done shopping in this great little shop. It belongs to a fellow YouTuber. Her name is Debbie with Debbie Designs Diary. We hope you'll check out her YouTube channel. This is her cute little shop. It's a cute little blue house that she's renovated into a store that she has owned for over 20 years. It's absolutely darling and she has a paint line called DIY Paint, which we love to use and we just purchased some. So with along with some other great um, items to do DIYs with. So we are looking forward to getting back home so that we can share that with you. Her shop is located in Solano Beach, California, on this cute little, uh, in this cute little design district. So we hope you guys will go check her out as well. And we're looking forward to showing you these great items. Look at all the good uh, Will goodies we have found. This is a Goodwill store close to my sister's house. We're super excited to show you what we're gonna do with all this. All right, guys, we are going to share with you some of our purchases. Uh, again, we're in my sister's beautiful backyard. So we took you guys to Solano Beach, which has a little uh, design district down there. There are some clothing as well as home decor boutiques down there. And two of our favorite stores are down there. One is called Tada, and I'm gonna show you what we picked up there. And then we went to uh, Debbie Design, uh, Designs Diary Shop, which is just down the street. So, um, at Tada, I purchased this stem. I'm gonna come in tight, guys. Of beautiful succulents that I'm gonna use in some of my arrangements at home. And I paid $14 for this, which I think was an excellent buy. And I got this spray as well. Little Boston fern looking. And this was $6. And then I picked up these great fleur-de-lis. I have this larger size. Put them over here. This way. There you go. And this smaller size. And these were on sale 50% off. So the large one was normally eight on sale for four, and the small one was six on sale for three. They have little hangers on the back of them, which if I decide I can always pull those out or clip them off and use these as appliques on furniture, or I may end up using them in another project, but I love Fleur de Lis, so I couldn't pass those up. So I got two of the big ones and two of the little ones. These are oranges that fell off the tree, aren't they beautiful? And look at these succulents she grows. All natural. Misty's gonna get some more good stuff for us to show. And in the meantime, I'll focus on all this pretty. So then I also picked, uh, picked up this cheese mold. I love this. This was $24. So, you can use these in a lot of different ways. You could put jarred candles in this. You could put some like cylinder type vases and put a floral arrangement in this. You could do some succulents. I would probably do faux succulents if I did that. Um, there's just a lot of uses for this and this was on sale for $24. I love the worn, distressed, chippy look of the paint. So I was really excited about that. And mom picked up this really cool wooden tray. It was $28. And this would be a great tray to, you could do some candles and some floral in it. You could put mason jars with floral or candles inside the mason jars. Lots of options. You could hang this on a wall with some sort of, you know, uh, vintage finds or antiques there's a lot of options for how to use these trays so um this was mom's purchase and this was 28 dollars 
And that is everything that we picked up at Tada. So now I'm gonna share with you what we got at Debbie's shop. So again, it's Debbie's Designs Diary. She has a channel here on YouTube. And you guys saw from the footage in front of her store, I told you she's had her store for over 20 years. And her paint line is this DIY paint, which I love. I've been using it um, for about six years. I use it in conjunction with a couple other paint lines, but I really am happy with her paints. And so I'm gonna share with you what this cute bag has inside of it. So first, we picked up these awesome Iron Orchid designs. We're kind of getting a glare because it's so sunny here today. Farm animal Beautiful. stamps. So these are decorative stamps that you can use on fabrics, furniture, canvases. Your options are endless um, with these stamps. And we have some of their other stamp sets that we've used in a lot of our other projects and we love them. So we were really excited to get the farm animal set. There's the rabbit, a cow, this is a pig down here, he's a little hidden. The sheep and the rooster. So we're really excited about using this. We also picked up a quart of her DIY paint. This is letterpress gray. This is an awesome color. We love to use this color. So you'll see some upcoming projects with this paint on it. And so you guys remember the um, molds I shared with you when I did the hope chest? I used a mold to create some decorative appliques. These are some of those molds. You might and have these to are pull, pull that out of the package because we're getting such a glare on that sort of thing. These are also by Iron Orchid Design or Designs, I should say. And um, it doesn't want to come out of the package. Okay, here we go. And of course, we couldn't pass this one up because, as you can see, there are bees, two different sizes two different size crowns, and then these beautiful wreath molds. And there's some other decorative leaves here. So we picked this one up. And we also got this other one. And this one has a set of wings and then a couple different sets of um, feathers and then these look like peacock feathers here so there's a large and small or, or two large and two small in those two large and two small in these other feathers and then the wings so we're super excited to use these on some projects that we'll share with you all And we picked up some of their decor ink in soft black. We'll use that with the stamp set that we showed you. And we'll do a tutorial on how you use these molds and these stamp sets, hopefully this next week. And then in this little bag of goodies, we picked up four of these brass B metal appliques this is the back and sometimes we use pieces like this on furniture or other home decor lines i also use stuff like this in in my jewelry making so we got four of those and we got three of these it's a little honeycomb with the bee hanging off the bottom so there's three of those And that is all that we got at Debbie's shop today. She just has the most adorable things in there. She's super creative. Um, you guys need to go check out her channel.
so now I'm going to share with you. Oh, mom also picked this up. I want to show you this really quick. She picked this up at Vons in Bishop, California on the way down here. She just couldn't resist it. It was in their floral department. And this is glass, this mercury glass bird. And it lights up. I don't think you can see it lit up because we're out here in the bright sunlight, but it lights up. And she's super excited about this. She can use this throughout the year in her decor. It will be beautiful at Christmas, maybe with um, some Christmas uh, stems or something around it under a cloche would be really pretty but she's got a lot of ideas for this and she paid $12 for it so we just wanted to show that to you if you if you all have a Vons where you live or maybe even a Safeway check out their floral department you might be able to pick one of those birds up okay so now we are going to share our secondhand Sunday with you. I'm sorry we're not going to have a tutorial with it today guys. We're going to show you our haul that we purchased and I'm going to talk a little bit about what we might do with some of the pieces and then on Monday we will I'll do a video where I transform a couple of those pieces for you. Okay, so our first find was this great burlap bulletin board with the nail head up detail. And this is actually brand new. It still has the packaging on it. It is an Ashland piece from Michaels. $59.99 was the price on this. And we picked it up for $7.99. And yes, we are going to be doing something to this to transform it for you guys. So that will be either in the Monday video I shoot for our secondhand Sunday or next Sunday's video. But we got this. And we hit the mother load on wooden candlesticks, you guys. Okay, so we got all of these. This one here, it was $4.99. These two still have the price tags on them. The large one was $24.99 and the small one was $19.99. We paid $5.99 for the small one and $7.99 for the large one. We also got this one. I love the shape on this. It's got some detail on it. And we paid $3.99 for this one. And then this is a great one too. This one's kind of um, substantial. And this one was $4.99. No, no original tags, but it just needs to be cleaned up and painted. So we're gonna do some great things with these candlesticks. And as a lot of you um, that have been watching know, you can do so much more with candlesticks than just put candles on them. You can create a spray on top and use it as a centerpiece. You can put garden balls on them and use them for some height and to add a little um, more dimension to your home decor. So we really like to pick up these wooden candlesticks whenever we get a chance and these prices were excellent. So we got the candlesticks. And we got these two resin plaques. And as you can see, they were $2.99 a piece. We're gonna paint these out and put something different on these. These are from New View Gifts and Accessories. So they look like they were probably some nice home decor. And we're gonna transform these for you guys as well. And they were both $2.99 each.
And then, of course, we could not pass up this tea light holder. It looks like a little lamp and it has bees on the front of it. And it was $3.99. So we'll probably be keeping this for ourselves. We got this great rooster hanger. So you can hang this onto a wall or onto a fence, hang plants off of it. You could hang a sign off of it. We're gonna use this in a project for one of our markets, but he was $4.99. And we are super excited about this find. We got these cow plates, and these are put out by Magenta, who also does Ray Dunn. I'm getting a real bad shadow. And you can't really see, but it says the cows say moo on them. And then I'll show you the other ones. Let's back that down out of the shadow. There you go. And we also picked up these awesome pig plates. So there are five big ones and three of these little ones. They were $12.99. And again, these are made by Magenta. They say oink on them. So mom and I are gonna probably be keeping these and split them up between the two of us. So that is what we found today, you guys. We really hope you enjoy our little video of clips of our trip and our great um, Goodwill finds. And like I said, I will be back with you on Monday to transform some of this stuff. And this will be our secondhand Sunday video. This is episode number five, I believe. So thank you guys so much for joining us. We really appreciate all your wonderful comments. I know I'm behind on comments. It's just been a super busy whirlwind trip, but I promise I will get to them and I answer all your questions and respond. So thank you guys so much for joining us today. We hope you have a great night. Bye from sunny California. Bye-bye.